Hello my friends, my name is Chris and I would like to welcome you to our latest Cyprus Scene weekly review of news and reviews from Northern Cyprus. As normal, we received many contributions from our contributors and we worked hard to publish them in our online newspaper as they were current and not hold them back for a weekend publication. Clearly more contributions followed, but we prefer now to publish on a Wednesday to give you an early reading. So th thank you for this past week's contribution and do keep them coming so we can continue to promote the news and reviews with the world, which is so important for the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Our feature article this week was from my leisure time when I went to an archery competition where two of my fellow Lambuza archer club members were taking part and I'll be writing more about my new archery hobby soon. The TRNC Foreign Ministry slammed the US State Department over a statement by their spokesperson who repeated the Greek Cypriot position on the Cyprus issue in a statement delivered on 2nd of November 2022. TRNC President Ersin Tatar was in London, the country of the UK to hold a serious meeting with Turkish Cypriot group officials and also met former UK Minister Brooks Newmark during his tour. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu made a statement in a speech that rejected recent Greek Cypriot EEZ delimitation agreements which violated the rights of Turkey and the TRNC. So what happened in the community? Our regular contributor Heidi Troutman published reviews of a paper jewellery making workshop which through the photos looked fascinating. And also she wrote about a, a celebration of the weeks of the German language, which is an annual festival held since 2017 across the island, organized by the embassies of Austria, Germany, Switzerland and the Gothe Institute, Cyprus in October and November. Richard Beale brought us two football match reports plus league football fixtures. So those fans who followed Cyprus scene could plan which match to go to to watch. Gany Municipality published news of new events they are arranging, which included the Turkish Classical Music Ensemble concert, and their next performance will be on 21st of November at the Municipality Chamber Theatre. They also have an arranged a Children's Rights Festival in Gany on 19th, 20th November 2022. Susie L. Ford of Sumart's Entertainment wrote to us about a quiz event they held at Diva Restaurant in Essentepe and an open mic night at Hattie's Cafe in Tepe, which was enjoyed by many karaoke singers and open mic night performers, as you will see from the many photos in our website article. Thank you for my, my friends. That's a brief roundup for this past week with more news and reviews, which arrived over this weekend, which you can read on our website. And in the meanwhile, we'll be pleased to receive your new contributions for publication during this coming week. Please be sure to follow Cyprus Scene through our website, e-newspaper or podcast. So have a nice week and stay safe.